Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today I'm going to be showing you a tool that I keep in my vehicle for emergencies. And it has been used quite often, you could probably tell by the wear on the blade. This is a Cobalt brand tool. Cobalt, if you're not sure if you're out of the country or area, is a home improvement store like a Home Depot, just another competitor, uh, based here in Mooresville, North Carolina. Um, so, this is a 3-in-1, it's a folding saw. Which is nice, it doesn't magically, you know, come undone like a lot of the other ones do. It's got a decent lock, and locks really well. There's no flex in the blade at the joint, which is really nice, so you know it's sturdy. These are specific to home improvement people. Um, you know, if you need to do a little bit of trimming and such, but this, let's see if I can get it to show on here, is a five teeth, five tooth per inch, wood coarse, come on. Wood coarse blade. All right, got everything else to white it out there. Um, good for cutting branches, even small trees, and if you have the energy, even big trees. So, decent blade, and they do make replacement blades as usually a three pack. Some of the lows you can get them individual, like if you want like three of this kind of blade instead of the other two. Um, it's got a nice rubberized handle. Nice big thumb screw so you can help unlock the blade and lock the other one in. And let me see if I can get some light on the end of this. I can get it to show. The metal housing goes all the way through. So it's like a full tang kind of thing. Now there's metal that goes all the way through. It's impregnated into the um, plastic. See how, it, how the plastic goes right through it? Um, but it's metal all the way through. Which is a nice touch. Gives a lot of bit of rigid, lot of rigidity, you know, and some you know decent strength. And of course, you have a lanyard hole if, if you want to use that, which you can. It comes with a sheath, by the way. I'll show you that shortly. So, this is the coarse wood blade. Next one down is this one, which is they recommend for plastic and wood. I've never used it on plastic, so I guess it depends on the kind of plastic. Like acrylic is going to be really hard to cut, but you can. It'll just take a while. So this is 11 teeth per inch. And they are offset teeth, like they're supposed to be. There's a lot of brands of uh, folding saws that do not have the offset teeth. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting this to, to um, show up on the camera properly. And this one... If you can see it is 18 teeth per inch. So the more teeth it is, the finer it is. So they recommend this for non-ferrous metal. You're cutting pipes, uh, like copper pipes, um, conduit piping, this would be fine. Actually, this one, come to think of it, PVC pipe, because this is a home improvement store you can probably use this really well to cut PVC. And there's a little bit of flexibility on there, but not a lot like some of the really cheap blades. And they're um, like powder coated, and they're smooth. They usually glide through whatever you're cutting pretty well. I haven't, I said I haven't used the plastic wooden one. I have used the metal one. Uh, this is actually a replacement blade because I dulled the other one out. I'm cutting lots and lots of conduit. But this is nice and easy. Take the lock out, you know, loosen the lock. There's a point where it suddenly gets loose. Let's see if I can remember how to, there we go. Pops right out. There's the end of the mechanism, if you can see it, I'm not sure, because the camera's in front of me. And to put another one in, just lock that back in, and then tighten the thumb screw. Now the thumb screw here, if you tighten it too much, it'll be hard to Fold the saw. So if you're at this point already, you unlock it and it's hard to close. Also loosen it just a tad. And then it'll close just fine. Do it there so it's a little bit stronger there. So simple three-in-one saw. It's not a silky saw. It's not one of the samurai swords. 
uh, saws. Um, but for something that's readily available and economical and replacement blades and it's a strong handle, it's worth it. It's good for if you're in an area like here that we get a lot of hurricanes, get tree branches down, say something's blocking your path or another branch at the end of my dirt driveway here. Um, I have a way in an emergency that I can cut it without having to go all the way back and get it like a chainsaw. Also, as I said earlier, it comes with a sheath, coarse cobalt brand. Got a little strap with a button on it so you can put it on your belt. Back of this is hard. It's probably lined with a piece of plastic. Velcro closure. And you'll see it's got this kind of nylon kind of backing in it. And these are nice because it gives you places to put this. And they slide right in. In their own slots. Now, I'm going to show you a trick if you decide to have one of these. Sometimes, especially if it's really humid out and you're doing a lot of work and you're sweating, these will be hard to remove from the sheath. Especially if you put them in that position. Because now you can either grab both or you try to grab one, it's difficult. Turn one backwards. This way each of them has a little tab that's sticking up that you can just grab in order to get whichever blade you need. And of course, this fits in here, and it closes. So that's just another good tool in my survival kit, in my car, my emergency kit. It goes along with my first aid kit, and my roadside stuff, and my get-home bag, my dry bag of clothes, things of that nature. I do keep a full complement of tools. I do, I do a lot of driving, so it's important to have good stuff good usable equipment in the car if you need it. Screwdrivers, wrenches, duct tape, uh, electrical tape, some electrical connectors, pocket knife, multi-tool, you know, all sorts of things. So this is one of those items I keep in the car. But if anybody is looking for a reliable and economical folding saw, and they don't want to spend, you know, $100 on a Silky or even higher. There's Some of them are even crazier higher than that. This is a good alternative. It may not be a perfect replacement. I'm not saying it is. But it is an alternative. So, I will leave a description. I'll leave a, a link in the description to both Lowe's, where you can find this, in their stores. They're almost always in their stores in the tool section near the um, drywall uh, drywall saws and uh, hack saws and things of that nature, those kind of blades, that's usually in that section. So I'll leave a link in the description for Lowe's own website and where you can get it on Amazon if you're interested. Some people don't have a Lowe's in your state or country, so if you want something like this, you'll still be able to get it through Amazon. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, Leave them below in the comment section. I will answer them usually pretty quickly. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, that information is very useful for me to find out if this is kind of information, uh, this kind of video is something that you're interested in or not. Of course, again, leave me comments as I will always answer them. Or if you want, you can separately email me. And the link is up in the um, corner, right lower corner of the banner on my main channel. Thank you for watching and have a glorious day.